Hey guys, this is Stonehearth, the Alpha number one, and we're gonna go ahead and go in blind, and the world's gonna do its stuff. Okay, yeah, there we go. Click me to place your banner. Okay, first find a suitable spot for your new home. Okay, so I'm just left clicking to uh, move the area. It's moving pretty smoothly. Yeah, this is pretty smooth. I like that. Uh, okay. Food. Wild berries often grow in the forest. Lumber. You need wood to do just about anything. This spot looks good right here. Let's do that. Alright. Zooming in with my scroll bar. Okay, uh, you need somewhere to store all your supplies, cook and drag to bounce and crate. Right here. Okay, so these guys kind of do stuff on their own. The rest is up to you. Start by gathering wood and resources and building a workshop. Uh, is this my crate? Oak log. No, this is an oak log. Where's my crate? Okay, it's an oak log. I don't know what my resources are. Can I just click these guys and tell them to do something? Well, someone in general is going to click trees. What are these green lines? So they're just kind of hanging out. Okay. Build. Stockpile. Oh. Oopsie. That's what I was supposed to do. I wonder what these guys are off to do. Are they going to go hunting? I don't think I have that. I don't, as I remember, I don't think I really have an extreme, excessive amount of control of these people. It's oh, Okay, that's neat. This is... <laughs> what they're doing right now is remind me a lot of Age of Empires, except for, you know, I can't seem to directly control them. Which is going to be fine, because uh, later in the game, you know, there's going to be way too many villagers to manage anyways they do need food we should look for food for them the game said there were berries in the forest oh right here it's a worker they're all workers at this point right Yeah, they're all hungry workers. They've got all names too, that's pretty cool. So, obviously, I'm pretty sure these lines are, uh, the, the, like, the path, the pathfinding for these workers. I'm still trying to figure out what the red lines might mean. Starving. He needs food badly. Let's see if I can sort of click and drag. Ooh, I scaled pretty far away. Whoa, why do I keep doing that? No, nope, can't really do anything about that. Select file number two, edit, remove forever. Alright. Alright, 
Alright, so they're gonna go eat now. I'm just gonna have them gather. Oh, not ripe yet. This one is. Go gather. So is this one. Uh, this right here, probably the day-night cycle indicator. Okay, since so there's some resource stuff on the side. I've got other people, so can I build, place an item? Let's see structures. Wall loop. Okay, uh... Someone's gonna go do that. So I think how this wall loop thing works is I place the starting point and the finishing point. Looks like the berries like regenerate or something. Because remember this wasn't right before and this was and now it's not and this is. I wonder if one bushel of berries only feeds one person. What is this? Oh, scaffold. Yeah, they're still working on that wall thing. I'm going to send them to go gather more food. Someone else is going to go do that, right? And each time I click on one of those tasks, a new person goes and does it, right? Yeah, okay. Which means I could probably have someone just go chop that. Now I'm wondering what the procedure for, like, which person has the priority to go do those tasks. I'm mean, right now I'm going to assume it's, like, the person who's the least hungry and tired. I should probably build a workshop, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to let them finish building this wall. Then I'll try a workshop, because a workshop sounds like something they could use to build. Like a place they need in order to build other things. So, while they're all doing that... I'm going to take a look around stuff. Oh, there's a... Hmm. Where'd that come from? That old chat thing? Well... So I think the map may be limited at the moment. That's okay. Hmm. Trying to figure out what's what's the meaning behind these green boxes I'm wondering if they're just to draw attention to them or if this like these green boxes mean that these are spot appropriate spots to where 
one of my workers can actually get to it. And if like all these boxes are red, they can't get to it. You see, that box was red. All of them were red, and Elena there was able to get to it anyways. So no. Okay, they're just sort of picking them up and putting them down now. Oh, well, one of them is starting a fire. Need someone to go gather some food. These people are hungry again. seem to be kind of unsure what to do if there were lumber. I'm wondering if that's because I screwed up the whole the whole stockpile thing. Let's try deleting this one. Deleting that one. Uh, or edit. What is edit? I don't know, but let's build the stockpile, but over here this time. Okay. I should really time the day-night cycle and see how long it is. It doesn't seem super long. The days and nights seem a tad short. I wonder why they're not really going back to work on the scaffolding. Yeah, they're tweaking out on the... Still tweaking out on... It's this lumber. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna go have them... Cut down this big tree now and see what happens. And I'm still thinking maybe these green boxes mean those are like slots where they can stand and if there's more workers than these boxes then they can't work on this resource to gather it. Okay, day just started. I'm gonna time it now. <sighs> or maybe, maybe I don't need to do that. I could see how long it takes while I edit. And sorry about the yawns. I woke up not too long ago. Okay, they're tweaking out on placing the blocks. I wonder if I could just... Okay, that's pretty silly, guys. Alright, well, let's... Uh, let's build workshop. Okay. 
Are they gonna do something with that now? Ideally, they would. Oh yeah, one of them is. So maybe I just need this, uh... Maybe I need a carpenter before I can actually... Progress on that wall? Okay, uh, she's a carpenter now. What is she gonna do? So she can craft things. Okay. She's a carpenter, but it looks like she's going to go gather. They're all hungry, so they're all going to do that. Uh, I am confused, though. Maybe it's just an alpha bug. Is the reason why they're tweaking out on these logs. Yeah, they pretty much all got hu hungry to the point where they just decided for themselves to go pick some berries. That's pretty cool. So I don't really have to worry a whole lot about them starving themselves to death. Who are you? Okay. Oh, I need to finish this wall. Do I need to like put a blue? Do I need to put a ladder at this blue part? Seems something like that would sort of happen automatically. So he's gonna start picking up logs and just moving them around. They're bringing all this lumber back, but... Oh well. Maybe I'll have her craft something. Mean bed. I don't know. Well, I have an idea though. Let's... Make a small wall loop. Put next to that one. Put there. And maybe that'll solve the whole weird wood issue. They'll just use the wood that they've already got. I guess they just like pick up and drop stuff when they have nothing to do. But I thought they had something to do here. I thought they would do something with this. Yeah, that seems to be working. They're a little bit twitchy in bringing it back here and putting it down, picking it up, and starting to work on the wall again. Huh. 
Well. I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching, guys. There's going to be more Stonehearth videos to come. See you later.